Hello friends, under this part of library management system, we will learn, how to load library book author data, in data tables, using PHP script. In this tutorial, we have to use pure JavaScript data tables, with feature like searching, pagination and more. In previous part, we have to learn, how to delete category data, from MySQL database using PHP, if you have to still not watch that video, please first watch that part. Now let's start discussing this topic, so this is author table in MySQL database, and under this table, we can see table column like, author id, author name, author status, author created on and author updated on, so we will page data from this table, and display on web page, in JavaScript data tables. Now we have to go to working folder, and here first we want to add author link, under this admin area, so for add author link, here we have to open header.php file. Under this file, here we have to create, anchor tag with class is equal to nub link, and in href attribute, we have to write author.php file, and in anchor text, we have to write author, so by click on this link, admin can access author management page. So here first we have to refresh web page, and after web page, here we can see that, author link has been appear at left side menu, so admin can access author management module, by click on this link, so now we have to proceed for load author data, under javascript data tables. So this update query will update library setting data in database, now below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to, dollar connect variable with prepare method, and under this, we have write dollar query variable, so this method will prepare query for execution. After this, we want to add function.php file, so for this, here we have to write, include statement, with double dot slash function.php file. So after by using this code, we can call function of this function.php, under this author file. Now this page must be access only by admin, so for this, here we have to write, if statement, and under condition, we have to call this admin login function, and this function will check, that admin has been login into system or not, so if admin not login into this system, then it will execute if block of code. Under this if block, we have to write, header function, and under this function, we have to write, location which has been set to, double dot slash admin login dot php, so if anyone have try to access, this page without admin login, then it will redirect to admin login dot php file. Next we want to include header dot php file, so for this, here we have to write, include statement, with double dot slash header dot php. And same way, we want to include footer.php file, so for this, here we have to write, include statement, with double dot slash footer.php file. After this between this, we have to paste this HTML code, which will make blank author management page, now we have to check out put in browser. So here we have to click on author.php file, and so here we can see that blank page has been load in the browser, that means here our author management template is ready. Now we want to load author data, under javascript data tables. So for this, we have to go to author.php file, and here we have to write, dollar query variable is equal to, select star from author table, and order by author name in ascending order. This query will fetch author data from database table. Below this query, we have to write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare method, and under this method, we have to write dollar query variable. So here this method will make query for execution. Now we want to execute above query. So for this here, we have to write dollar statement variable with execute method. So this method will execute above query. After this, we have to go HTML code part, and here we have to create one table with it is equal to data table simple, so here we will use this it value, for initialize javascript data tables plugin. And we have to already write javascript code, for initialize simple javascript data tables, so if you have to not video tutorial number 6, so first watch the tutorial part first, for how to convert simple HTML table to fully functional data tables. Under this table, we have to create one table head tag, and between this, we have to create one table row tag. And under this table row tag, we have to create five table column like, author name, status, created on, updated on an action table column. 
Same way, here we have to create one table footer tag, and between this, we have to create one table row tag, and between this tag, we have to paste above table column. So here under this table, we have to create table heading tag, and table footer tag. Now under this table, we have to create table body tag. And under this tag, we will fill this table with data. So for this here, we have to write if statement, and under condition, we have to write dollar statement variable, with row count method, and this value is greater than zero, so here this row count method will return number of row affected after query execution, and if this value is greater than zero, then it will execute if block of code. So under this block, we have to write for each loop, and under condition, we have to write, dollar statement variable with fetch all method, as dollar row variable, so here fetch all method will return query execution result data in array format, which we can fetch one by one, using this loop. Under this loop, we have to write, dollar author status variable is equal to, blank value. Below this, we have to write if statement, and under condition, we have to write, dollar row author status variable value is equal to enable, so here if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. And under this block, we have to write, dollar author status variable is equal to, division tag with class is equal to, badge and background success class, and between this, we have to write enable, so it will display enable text, in green background color. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and here, we have to write, dollar author status variable is equal to, division tag with class is equal to, badge and background danger class, and between this, we have to write disable, so it will display this text, with red background color. Next below this, we have to write, php echo statement, with open and close table row tag, and between this, we have to create 5 table column. In first column, we want to display author name, so here we have to write dollar row author name variable. In second column, we want to display author status, so for this, here in second column, we have to write dollar author status variable. In third column, we want to display author created on data, so for this, here in third table column, we have to write dollar row author created on table column name. After this in fourth table column, we want to display author updated on table column data. So for this, here in fourth table column, we have to write, dollar row author updated on table column name. In last table column, we want to display author edit and delete button, which we will make in upcoming video tutorial part. Now suppose above this condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and under this else block, we have to write php echo statement, with open and close table row tag, and between this, we have to create table data tag, with message like no data found. So it will display this message under table, if there is no data available in author table. So here our code is ready, now we have to check output in browser. Friends here, we have to refresh web page, and after refresh of web page, here we can see that, author data has been loaded in simple javascript data table. And here, we can perform live data search feature, and then after, here we can easily sort table column data, by simple click, after this, this library will make pagination link, if data must be more than 10, and here also, we can also set, how many number of data, we want to display on web page. So by using this JavaScript data tables, we can perform all operation, like searching, filtering, pagination, sorting, which we have to perform in jQuery data tables. So under this part, we have learned, how to fetch data from MySQL table, and load in JavaScript data tables, by using PHP script. In next part, we will learn, how to add new author data, under this library management system, by using PHP script. So we will be meet in next part, and lastly thank you for watching this video.